Raga. I like that. I sound, so like, many... I sound like a dog growling, though, when I say it. It's like the Raga. The nightmare begins. Yeah, it's only the seventh time you play uh, you play Doctor Strange. Correct. Um, what does what does the character mean for you by now? What do you plan to uh, yeah to take him on moving forward? I'm really excited to see what uh, um, the fans make of his evolution in this chapter of his story. Um, he's complex enough as it is, let alone dealing with the multiverse and other versions of himself. So there's a lot of challenges, and I think he comes. Yeah, he, he comes to learn a few lessons. Look, I think it's it, it's clear the essential ingredients to the guy is that he's humorous, he's funny, he's witty, he's sardonic and snarky, but he's also at times supremely arrogant and ego driven, which is both his greatest strength and his greatest weakness. You know, that's where the the, the drama lies at times. You know, he's trying to rein him, rein him in throughout the the, the last six or <laughs> seven movies. You know, not to tamper with natural law. <laughs> that's exactly. all what he's I done. keep saying. <laughs> And he just doesn't listen. No. And actions have consequences. <laughs> yes, they do. And this is where we are. You break the rules. Look out! To become a hero. How is it to be uh, such a central character in such a huge movie within the, the MCU? I mean, it's it's just so crazy that um, you know a young teenage. Uh, you know, Latina queer girl can be such an important part of the story. And, you know, like you said, she is a, quite a key uh, part of this movie. I mean, multiverse, you know, her powers. <laughs> so, yeah. I mean, it's, I'm just really proud of Marvel for putting America in this movie um, and just making her so important. And yeah, what extra flavor brought uh, Sam Raimi into the mix? I mean, the darkness, the humor, the schlock horror, as well as the jump scares. And, you know, he's not he's a master at both genres, both superhero and and horror. And so I think there's a there's a real touch of Sam Raimi magic throughout this film. Fans of his of old will be enraptured and uh, get a good nostalgic hit of the way he likes to do things. I'm loving the direction where it's going. It seems to be like a lovely exponential curve. You know, when we start off, the no-nonsense midfield general librarian has now become the no-nonsense sorcerer supreme. We can see his fighting dexterity, you know, his vocal dexterity in singing. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, we could go anywhere, <laughs> musicals. No. Uh... You opened the doorway between universes. We don't know who or what will walk through it. Wanda, what do you know about the multiverse? We can only hope or maybe maybe, maybe guess like maybe there would be a Dutch variant because we're from the Netherlands. So we were wondering what would a Dutch variant of Doctor Strange be like? <laughs> he'd probably look like me, but he'd be able to speak Dutch. I mean, you know, that's, that's the difference. Um, you know but, some Dutch? Uh, no, I don't. Teach me some. Uh, well, uh, whew, well, if if I mean if it would be a definite uh, translation, it'd be uh, well, you'd be called Doctor Vreemd or, or Doctor Raar. That would be Doctor Raar. It means the Raar means strange. Raar means strange. Yeah. Okay. Okay. There we go. Doctor Raar. Very Raar. Raar guy. Raar. <laughs> Doctor Raar. I like that. I sound, so like, many... I sound like a dog growling though when I say it. it's Doctor Raar. Right.